What is going on, everybody? JD here, another video. Let's talk soccer cards. So, you know, soccer has been a craze um, that has, you know, sp spiked over the last year and a half or so, uh, you know, kind of given, you know, the popularity of the sport worldwide. Um, it's interesting that it, it, it's kind of taken this long for soccer cards to become mainstream, uh, but they've arrived. They arrived, you know, over the last year or so. They've, you know, most of these cards, you know, you can date back to like 2014 uh, with Panini starting to put out cards versus stickers. Um, you know, there's there's other cards that predate um, different brands, but you really got to do a deep dive uh, to understand those cards and what's a good buy and, and things like that. Um, but I thought for this video, what we should do is, you know, take a look at a sport that is extremely popular around the world. Uh, number one sport worldwide. No debate about that. The world cup is coming to the United States next summer. Uh, you know, barring any type of, COVID mirror, you know, disasters or things like that, but it should be here next summer without any kind of problems, which is going to create, I think, a feeding frenzy of soccer cards. Um, you know, if you look at any type of card sales data uh, of soccer cards over the last year and a half, they spiked real hard and then they came crashing down. Um, and as the market has stabilized and people have started to figure out, you know, what's a good product, what cards, what players to buy, what players to sell, you know, so on and so forth, the, the so forth, the market has stabled, uh, and cards are, you know, rising again. But the problem with soccer for people in the United States the best players don't play in the United States. So for us to learn about soccer players, we have to get on, we have to get online. Um, we have to watch games that we may have no familiarity with whatsoever. Um, you know, chances are you can't name more than five to 10 soccer players, uh, you know, I think everybody under knows Pele, um, you know, but really how many common names are there in, in an American household that, you know, can just spew out soccer players? You know, if you think about it, in baseball, you can go on and on and on. Mays, Mantle, McGuire, Griffey, Clemens, Guerrero, uh, Koufax, Mays, uh, Nolan Ryan, you know, you can just keep naming players. Jackie Robinson, uh, you know, Harmon Killebrew, whatever, Roberto Clemente. Same in basketball. Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, David Rodman. You know, so like the sports that are Americanized and that are popular in America that we've all grown up watching and playing we know those 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 cards to invest in soccer is a very different animal because it requires a lot of time and and research i think uh in order to be successful because if you just blindly go in and start start buying cards uh you, you you're gonna get hurt you know, anybody will tell you that knows anything that that buying wax, uh, you know, as a way to get in is is okay. But the problem there is the prices of wax are so high that the chances of you recouping your money that you spent on the box are slim to none. So that means you got to start looking at singles. 
even further from that, it means you got to figure out what are the good soccer cards. Is it Topps Chrome Champions League? Is it Panini Chronicles Contenders? Is it uh, UEFA World Cup? Is it Premier League? Is it Bundesliga? Uh, so these are things that aren't common to us. So how do you figure out what to buy when you're really not sure of what to buy? So first thing, right? Any of these data tools that are worth their their money uh, are going to have soccer cards in them. Uh, we've added a bunch here at Card Hedge. Um, and as I've been loading them, I've noticed, you know, prices were definitely very high at the beginning of the year. And like everything else, they came crashing down. Um, but the players that are the bigger players are starting to, uh, you know, those values have leveled off and are now starting to rise again. So I thought to myself, all right, like I, I, I have some knowledge of soccer. I, I know Ronaldo, I know Mbappe, I know Messi. Um, you know, I used to watch back in the early 2000s, I watched a lot of Man United, um, you know, so if I can name, you know, guys that don't play anymore um, that people don't probably know, like Rude Van Nistelrooy, uh, Ryan Giggs, uh, you know, Paul Scholes, all these guys that played for Man U. Um, I knew those guys because I watched the games all the time. I don't watch the Champions League anymore, although I am going to start watching it more because Cristiano Ronaldo is back at Man United. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but I don't have the desire to record or watch early in the morning or on replay, uh, you know, La Liga games or Bundesliga games or, you know, PSG games. Like, I, I just, that I don't care. Um, but... I was thinking about it when I wanted to make this video. If there's one thing I've learned, if you know the top players, so in this case, we're going to go with Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. They're the two most well-known soccer players in the world to the average dude, right? The average female. Um, I would think that if you had to, if you walk the streets and ask people to name a soccer player, they'd say Ronaldo or Messi. I'd say more than anybody else. Now, I could be very wrong on that, but I think if you walk the streets of America and just ask for people to name a soccer player, they'd name Messi, Ronaldo, and either order. So that begs the question of, or leads me to my first point, which is if you want to invest in cards in a, in a sport that you're not familiar with 100%, buy the goats first. So you can do your research. You can, you know, you learn these names and, you know, you're reading some article that Ansu Fati is an up and comer. And you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm all in on fatigue. You, you don't know anything about him. You've never even seen him play. So don't, my advice would be don't spend your money on something that you don't know. But if you know, for example, Christian Pelusic, who's probably the most well-known U.S soccer player in the world right now he's he's a guy even though his prices are a little are high right now i think i do think with the world cup if the u.s somehow qualifies because that's not a guarantee if the u.s qualifies for the world cup i think Pelusic's cards are going to go bananas um next year uh, I, I really do I say that because as that event draw, draws near uh, and the, the marketing starts and, and P 
people become aware of of who these guys are and the the, the backstories on them and yada 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 it's just it's going to translate into the prices rising so something to think about there right but ronaldo and messi are the equivalent of brady and jordan <laughs> like those those guys are the same like if you if you're comparing across sports um you know messi is arguably the, the one of the if not the greatest soccer player of all time uh you know everybody i hope knows who pele is um you know you can go on with diego maradona roberto baggio andre shevchenko uh, all these different guys that have played over the years and then these are just players that i know uh, from watching, right? But uh, how would I go about in, in investing in other players if I wanted to outside of Ronaldo and Messi? Because it, it those two guys, their stuff is going to be expensive. So that's the first problem. That's the first hurdle you got to clear. You know, when you're when you're trying to enter a space. Anybody that buys Panini knows that that's not a lot of parallels. So you got that working for you, right? So from there, the first guy you see is Messi. All right, you know there's Messi cards in 2015 Select. Cool. From from there, you could start Googling, you know, Lionel, Lionel Messi cards, Lionel Messi cards. What does he have available? Where is his rookie card? And I'm going to tell you right now, spoiler, spoiler alert, his, his rookie card or what's considered his rookie card is crazy expensive. So unless you get straight cash, um, you know, it, it's going to be out of reach for a lot of us. But if I'm looking in this set, right, there's 100 cards in the base set. Not a lot. Not a lot. So it's not overwhelming. You can start to, all right, what, what's in there for, for Ronaldo? What's in there for Messi? Is Neymar in there? Uh, who's in there, right? Start Googling these names to figure out who's who. Are they still playing? Were they any good, <laughs> right? Um, things like that. Then, because... There's limited parallels. Start figuring out what parallels you can get your hands on. So to me, if I can get messy cards and some of these parallels at a pretty decent price, I, I could be interested in that. But I wanna what I want to do too is I want to get on eBay and I want to see you know how many of these cards are selling. Is it something that's moving or is it something that is like a once a couple months type deal? Uh, because if it's a once a couple month type deal, it might be one of those things where I'm like, eh, I don't know. Right. And, and we know that the rarer the card, the less likely it is to be traded often or sold off and whatever you want to call it. So, you know, maybe you're operating out of the blues or the camos, right? Or maybe the reds. I don't know. Whatever is your flavor. Would pick color of the rainbow, right? So another thing I'm gonna do is I wanna if you don't know FIFA, you've never played video games or you never heard of FIFA because you don't pay attention to soccer, FIFA is like the governing body of soccer in the world. Um, 
like MLB, NHL, NFL, FIFA is what is the, the governing body of soccer. So I would look and I would say, okay, well, wow, Belgium's the number one ranked team in the world. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have guessed Brazil or France. Um, and I want to know why, right? So let me click on Belgium. And then I'm going to start to look and I'm going to see, all right, what's going on in Belgium, right? Who are the players? You know, like I, I would want to learn who are the top dogs on Belgium. If there's a name that I'm like, oh, well, let me look at that guy. Google him. You know, figure out, does he have a club team? And that's the next piece, right? So with soccer, you've got kind of two pieces. These guys have their national team that they play for, and Panini makes plenty of national team stuff. But then they also have their club team. And their club team, that's where it gets kind of kind of foggy because the club team is, is, is exactly like the Boston Red Sox or, you know, the New York Yankees or whatever. But outside of Manchester United, Liverpool, uh, PSG, Inter Milan, Juventus, uh, Barcelona, I can't name any other team. I can probably name more in the Premier League because I've watched the Premier League. Um, but if you, you want me to start naming teams out of like La Liga, I, I can't do that. I, I gave you one. <laughs> um, so you, you got to learn some teams. You got to learn these players. Then you got to learn like Bundesliga for Topps Chrome. What is the Bundesliga? Well, it's a, it's a German league. Right, but what is the where does that fit into like as far as like the Champions League and uh, the Premier League and and all these other things, right? Because there there's all these different levels of competition in soccer. So and players, then you got to learn the transfer window. So what is the transfer window? It's kind of like free agency in in sports we know here traditionally in America. Um, not necessarily the player becomes a free agent, but basically their clubs are saying these guys are for sale and the transfer window opens and it, it, a guy could be playing on a, on a team. Like I believe Jaden Sancho, this just happened to, you know, he's playing on some team. I, I actually think it was in the Bundesliga and one of the big dogs in the premier league, I think it could be completely wrong here, but I thought I heard this from my buddy. Um, you know, they buy him, they pay the team some crazy amount of transfer fee, and then they sign him to a contract. That's, you know, so as far as like speculation goes, who are players that are down in like the quote minor leagues that are going to be transferred to a, to a bigger club? Um, there's more in, there's more investability or, or whatnot in those guys than there are in some of these other guys, right? I think also soccer is very hard to speculate. And I say that because, you know, like this kid, Ansu Fati, good young player, but how do I, how do I, I got to learn about him? Like, what does he do? Where does he play on the field? Um, what makes his PSA 10 contenders rookie ticket worth $700? Like, I want to know that answer. You know, so until you have those answers, you know, you can't find deals without doing your homework. So if soccer is a sport that you want to start, quote, investing in, personally, I think you need to be prepared to do a lot of homework um, because it's, it's, it's not a, a, 
again, it's not a sport that is mainstream America. Um, there's a learning curve, but I think the learning curve, it's not steep. I think if you look at the products that are available to buy, you can very easily get on the internet and start searching those leagues and the different players and, and so on and so forth. You know, do a couple eBay, generic eBay searches, see what cards are selling for. Then you can really start to piece together the top guys. You know, Erling Halan is another guy, another young kid who's people are very high on. I don't know crap about him other than I know people really like him and his cards are expensive. But to me, if I'm going to make some plays here, I'm going to look at Messi, Ronaldo, uh, guys like uh, another guy. I think I, you know, maybe is there any David Beckham cards out there? Um, you know, Mbappe was a name for a while. He's still a name. Um, you know, Holland, Fatigue. And then you come over here to Pelusic, right? So us American guys. He's 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 may not be the top American player, but he's the name that we hear the most. So with the World Cup coming, and as that hype builds in next spring, getting ready for the World Cup and the marketing starts and so on and so forth, he's going to be at the forefront of that. He's going to be the guy in the billboards all around the country. He's going to be the guy on ESPN. His card prices are going to, I think, personally, are going to go bananas. Um, you know, now, I think the U.S. has to win their next game in the CONCACAFA, um, which is, the, you know, the qualifiers to get into the U, uh, to get into the World Cup. And if they don't win, I think they're in big trouble, uh, from what I understand, for me to even qualify for the World Cup. So, like, their next game is, like, must win. So kind of important. Uh, so that's something you want to know, because if you're going to spend all this money on Pelusic and he's not going to be in the World Cup, you've just screwed yourself. So you need to pay attention to, to the results of these games. And you want to know how it works. Like, are they in? Are they on the fence? Are they out? Because that, that to me, makes a $500 card not worth the, the purchase. Uh, because he doesn't play crazy amounts on the on the international stage. He he's small, um, body wise, uh, so he you know he he does not play as much as he you know people would think when they hear the name because everybody hears the name and they're like oh yeah he's the best American player da 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 da, but then when you do a little homework. He's playing like 25, 30 minutes a game. Short burst, he's subbed in um, because the Champions League, uh, the Premier League is physical, very physical. Uh, and his he's a small dude, just can't hack it. Um, now, there could be some other American players out there. If that's your thing, you want to just focus on American guys. Figure out who are the guys on the national team. Where are they playing overseas? Do they have cards? So on and so forth. Watch YouTube content. Listen to some podcasts. Do your homework. And you'll find the deals. But if you just blindly come into this and start buying things, you're putting yourself at a huge risk to lose money. So keep it real on the streets. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment, hit the thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Uh, talk a little bit more soccer as I as I gain knowledge, but th this is how my thought process goes. This is how I would do my research, and I'm going to do my research on this because I do think there's some opportunities.